this is James with Your Church Promotions. We hope that you're having a good day and a good week at whatever time you are listening to this video. I am bringing you today some just four quick tips of connecting your church online. With me being a pastor, um, previous pastor, I'm a minister, I've been involved in small business and connecting locally with different uh, businesses. This is one of the reasons why I feel it is so important to really connect your church to your local community. Let me reintroduce myself. Many of you already know me, but I am James Powell. I live in South Florida. I have the church website, yourchurchpromotions.com. Yourchurchpromotions.com is about trying to bring you simple tips and helps to help you promote your church. We are trying to build out a membership site. It's not complete yet, but what we are trying to do is bring you, the local pastor, the local church member, tips and helps to actually help you connect your church to your community online. In today's world with the COVID that is going on, it's becoming very, very much more needed to connect online. I see the, the videos on Facebook, the live videos on YouTube, church streaming is becoming the way to connect. So if your church is not using the online venue, you're losing out of a way to connect to your community, community letting those of this generation know that you are connected. So thank you for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this quick little tip video. Please subscribe, share, wherever you find this, whatever uh, video hosting that you see this on. Please connect with us. Go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash yourchurchpromotions, or connect with us on uh, Rumble. It's rumble.com slash yourchurchpromotions. Please uh, like, share, and share with your other pastors and friends about this. All right, let's go to the page. I know that I have done several on PowerPoint, but I've started kind of going just directly to the website. That way you can see the see the website. But this is for um, churchtechtoday.com. I will try to go ahead and drop this link around this video. That way you can go directly to it. But four rules to connect with your church online. To, to connect with your church online. So what what is connecting your church is it seems so easy just about everyone is already there you really love to feel engaged with your congregation but there's one problem creating connections online so how do you do that number 1 join them where they are whether you like it or not people are online especially this generation now i you know, from where I am originally from, I don't want to go into in depth a, a whole lot, but there are there are many churches that still don't have a website, don't don't use social media, don't really have an online presence. I, I'm gonna tell you, if you really want to connect with your local community, you're going to have to have something online. So that's why this this uh, article states, I hope you're already doing this and probably goes without saying, but the first way to engage with your community is connect with them where they already are. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, LinkedIn, Parler, CloudHub, you know, Rumble. You have to have a connection because that is where the crowds are kind of bridge to them you have to bridge to the community for them to know about your church all right second keep it simple stupid the kiss rule you probably have heard this principle before and it is so true when engaging people online you you see whether you really enjoy it or realize it or not Pastors, preachers, keep it simple. Keep it short. Keep it, keep it concise. Start by identifying 
the main thing that you're wanting to accomplish. Whether you realize it or not, people have a short attention span now. And I, I sit in, in I, I've sit in churches at different times and I listen to a minister speak and it's like, come on, connect to the pew, connect to the people on uh, that are that are sitting in front of you. You're rambling on this this long ramble. Connect to the pew. Don't make it complicated. Don't use big words. Don't make it try to sound like you're smart. Keep it simple. Connect, connect, connect to the people sitting in the pew. Or, in this case, connect to the people. Connecting online. Keeping it simple. I know uh, that sounds simple, but... You, the pastor, I've been there. I've studied for a sermon, dug into the Greek, and just, you try to use the Greek, which I, I have, but you, you want to do that. Let them know that you studied, but then go back to the simple meaning. Okay? To keep things simple, start identifying the main thing you want to accomplish, engaging your congregation online. Can you accomplish through channels where you already are connecting? If you can't find existing platforms, maybe there's a young person in your congregation that is an online kind of guru. Connect with them. Let them help you. All right, number three. Number three, this is important. Be purposeful, personal, and punctual. Purposeful. Be deliberate in the way you engage your congregation online. Remember, why you are trying to engage them with them and let that guide your interaction. So ask why. Why am I doing this? Be purposeful. Be personal. This way you can, you can understand and this is actually, the article says may, but this is the most important as well as probably the most difficult. Online communities are like telephones, not megaphones. Don't just shout your message. Engage in conversation. Make sure that you are being real with your congregation. And be punctual. Define expectations for your online engagement. Schedule time to be available, connecting with your congregation online. If you are engaging with them regularly, they'll reciprocate. I've stated in previous videos, schedule a time of a live video. Take question and answer session. This is an opportunity to point out that you, you will need help. Identify some of the members of your church who excel in social media. Ask for help. Connect with the young people. They, they would love to connect like this. All right, number four, promote it. Finally, don't keep your online strategy a secret. Share with your congregation how you're hoping to engage with them online and ask for their participation. Be transparent. You see, now, there, there are ways to do that. Connect with newsletters, bulletins. Start mentioning on Sunday mornings the ways to connect. Let them know about your Facebook, Twitter. I just looked at a, at a church Twitter the other day. They haven't connected in, in a couple years. It's like, oh my goodness. There's an avenue. There is an avenue to really connect. And it's, it's use what's in your hands. Use what's in your hands. There's tools to do it. I hope this has helped. And I hope that you understand that I'm just trying to bring help, help you connect to those around you online. Thank you for listening. We ask you to subscribe, share, connect with us. We, we truly, we truly, truly want to bring to you true helps to help your church promote online. Thank you again. We will catch you on the next video. And I know that maybe you are wondering why I do this. 
It's because I'm passionate about ministry and I'm passionate about technology. This is James Kyle with Your Church Motions. We'll catch you on the next video.